the rainbow bridge of Asgard, where the booming heavens roar. You'll behold in breathless wonder the God of Thunder, mighty Thor. What's up, guys? Curse of Man here. It's uh, Wednesday night, and I just got back from a uh, comic book shop in Montgomery, and it was freaking raining hard, so I had to change clothes real quick and all that before I could do my videos. It was, I mean, coming down crazy, but we sure didn't need it. So, I uh, was glad to see that, but, uh, anyways, um, here just to do a comic book haul, but first I want to, um, show a quick trade I made with a cool YouTuber named, uh, Superheroes Den 1. Um, he does a lot of cards and, uh, comics and all that kind of stuff, so I really recommend y'all checking him out. Uh, I had some old uh, DC Supermans from the New 52 that I really just wasn't feeling, and I was just looking to trade something. And he had a um, some Marvel uh, cards. Yeah, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but it's just one um, to show you. But it's a whole set. So he traded me that set for uh, I think it was I had like the first eight Supermans or something like that, and I really didn't care nothing for them. So. Uh, um, I just offered those to him for some cards and that's what he shipped me so uh, really cool transaction definitely recommend the guy he's really cool and uh, thanks for the trade man I appreciate it but uh, first off I just want to show the books I got this week um, there's some really cool books of course uh, Walking Dead 100's out I'm sure all you know that uh, they did not um, I, the two I ordered I got the uh, Chromium Edition and I ordered the McFarlane cover. Uh, somehow my McFarlane cover got sold, so I'll have it this coming Wednesday. He's got another batch coming, so I will pick it up Wednesday, so I'll show that next week. But so I was a little upset about that, but you know, it happens. But anyways, so uh start off with the haul I got this week. Um first one is from Marvel's issue three of Spider Man. This uh, the story has been really cool here so far. Got like glares. Terrible today. Um, the uh, the story has been really good. I'm excited to read this, and it's got all the key villains from the Spider-Man series going here on the cover. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next, this one's about Vertigo. So uh, issue number one of a book called Punk Rock Jesus by Sean Murphy. So issue one of six. Um, I don't know anything about this. I just saw the name on the ship list and I was like, hey, it looks kind of cool. So I uh, picked it up. Kind of flipped through it a little bit and it's got the old school um, rough textured pages and all. So it's uh, it's not like the new stuff that's that real shiny soft material. So, um, you yeah, know, we'll see. I'll give it a try for the first issue. Uh, next was issue two of Panther. Um, first one was pretty good, so I'm pretty excited to read this one. Nice, cool looking cover there. And of course, I picked up Batman issue eleven. This is the uh, the finale of the uh, Court of Owls storyline, which is you know been pretty good. But I'm ready to move on to something different now. But you know I can't complain. The Batman writing has been very good. Uh, then I pick up, this is uh, issue number one of Eerie Comics. Uh, it's from the creators of Creepy Magazine. And uh, y'all know I'm into the dark, scary comic books and stuff like that, so um, I was excited to see this uh, coming out. Try to get that glare off of there. Really cool looking. And then here is my Walking Dead Chromium cover. I think it was nine ninety nine, so I had to pay for this. That's the, that's the cover issue price. So really cool looking, nice uh, comic book there. You see it kind of shining now. I'm excited to read that. I've heard a lot of good stories so far about the. Issue 100 saying it's pretty intense and everything, so I hope it lives up to the hype. And uh, while I was in there, I started, I'm back on my kick of trying to pick up back issues of Thor, so um, he had this one for a dollar. 
SU-337, couldn't pass that up. Uh, I've already got the one up here on the wall autograph, so I've got two of them now to put in my collection, so <clears throat> definitely couldn't pass that up. And um, picked up issue 451, the Mighty Thor. It's got Blood Axe on the cover. It's uh, Friends and Milgram is the artist. It says after Simonson, they actually took um, the idea from the 337 cover. You can see. I'm trying to get it so there's not so much blur going here. See, that's pretty cool there. I like that. Um, haven't read this one yet, so I'm excited. Pretty neat looking character there, Blood Axe. <clears throat> uh, also picked up issue 448, Mighty Thor, guest starring Amazing Spider Man. And the last one I picked up was issue 303 of the Mighty Thor. So, uh, Bronze Age book from 1980, really cool. Looks like he's trying to save some people in a church or something there. Pretty nice looking comic. Um, that's it for my haul this week. Kind of short and sweet there. Uh, the only other thing I really wanted to talk about was this whole deal with this new Marvel thing where they're dropping these books. I really can't believe you know that they're going to do this uh, I saw where the Mighty Thor was on the list to be dropped uh, really kind of obsessed me you know it just seems like in the past few years there's been relaunching uh, of Thor here a, a ton you know I don't understand why they keep dropping these things and restarting it just makes no sense uh, there's some other key titles that I saw Fantastic Four um, Incredible Hulk uh, all these different books, you know, that you wouldn't think would be dropped, you know, are being dropped, and it's just crazy, you know. I hope they're bringing them back somehow or another, but I don't know, but we'll see. Um, <clears throat> anyways, that's, I'm not going to get into a big rant about it, but uh, hopefully they'll do right by it. So, And uh, also, I um, was going to do a video about the Amazing Spider-Man movie. I went and saw it. Um, this past weekend, and uh, I'm not going to do a separate video on it because I'm not really good re re with reviews and whatnot. But I would definitely say it's way better, you know, than the first three. Uh, this new guy, forget his name, he's a better Spider Man, in my opinion, than Tobey Maguire. Which I don't like Tobey Maguire, anyways. He's just kind of, I don't know, he's too kind of, he's too nerdy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. This other, this new guy playing Spider-Man is just a little bit cooler. And uh, Emma Stone, you know, you can't go wrong with her playing uh, uh, Gwen Stacy. She did a really good job with that. And it just really focused more on his family and kind of more deep into the origin. So it was really, uh, really a good, um, good movie in my opinion. The graphics were really cool with the lizard, and you know, the special effects and everything were really awesome. So. I personally recommend going and seeing it, and I'm definitely probably going to own it for sure on Blu-ray when it comes out, so uh, yeah, that's my kind of quick synopsis on it. The only bad thing I would have to say is the freaking prices at the movie theaters are ridiculous. I mean, six bucks for a small drink and uh, $6 for a small popcorn is just outrageous. You know, they're getting, it's making it to where families can't afford to go see movies. You know, so it's, I hope they address that one day, which I'm sure it won't. It'll probably just go higher. So, <laughs> but uh, anyways, that's my comic haul for the week. Um, got a cool Vampirella item coming sometime this week. I ordered off eBay, so I'll probably do a video when I get that. But um, until then, I will see y'all later. Hope you have a good week, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.